AES-47 is a standard which describes a method for transporting AES-3 professional digital audio streams over asynchronous transfer mode ATM networks. The Audio Engineering Society AES published AES-47 in 2002. The method described by AES-47 is also published by the International Electrotechnical Commission as IEC 62365. Topic introduction Many professional audio systems are now combined with telecommunication and IT technologies to provide new functionality, flexibility and connectivity over both local and wide area networks. AES-47 was developed to provide a standardized method of transporting the standard digital audio per AES-3 over telecommunications networks that provide a quality of service required by many professional low-latency live audio users. AES-47 may be used directly between specialist audio devices or in combination with telecommunication and computer equipment with suitable network interfaces. In both cases, AES-47 the same physical structured cable used as standard by the telecommunications networks. Common network protocols like Ethernet use large packet sizes, which produce a larger minimum latency. Asynchronous transfer mode divides data into 48-byte cells which provide lower latency. Topic history The original work was carried out at the British Broadcasting Corporation's R&D department and published as White Paper 074, which established that this approach provides the necessary performance for professional media production. AES-47 was originally published in 2002 and was republished with minor revisions in February 2006. Amendment 1 to AES-47 was published in February 2009, adding code points in the ATM adaptation layer parameters information element to signal that the time to which each audio sample relates can be identified as specified in AES-53. The change in thinking from traditional ATM network design is not to necessarily use ATM to pass IP traffic apart from management traffic, but to use AES-47 in parallel with standard Ethernet structures to deal with extremely high performance secure media media streams. AES-47 has been developed to allow the simultaneous transport and switched distribution of a large number of AES-3 linear audio streams at different sample frequencies. AES-47 can support any of the standard AES-3 sample rates and word size. AES-11 Annex D the November 2005 printing or version of AES-11-2003 shows an example method to provide isochronous timing relationships for distributed AES-3 structures over asynchronous networks such as AES-47 where reference signals may be locked to common timing sources such as GPS. AES-53 specifies how timing markers within AES-47 can be used to associate an absolute time stamp with individual audio samples as described in AES-47 Amendment 1. An additional standard has been published by the Audio Engineering Society to extend AES-3 digital audio carried as AES-47 streams to enable this to be transported over standard physical Ethernet hardware. This additional standard is known as AES-51-2006. Topic AES-47 details for minimum latency, AES-47 uses raw ATM cells, ATM adaptation layer 0. Each ATM virtual circuit negotiates the parameters of a stream at connection time. In addition to the same rate and number of channels which may be more than the two supported by AES-3, the negotiation covers the number of bits per sample and the presence of an optional data byte. The total must be 1, 2, 3, 4 or 6 bytes per sample, so it evenly divides the ATM cell size. AES-3 uses 4 bytes per sample 24 bits of sample plus the optional data byte, but AES-47 supports additional formats. The optional data byte contains 4 ancillary bits corresponding to the AES-3 VUCP bits. However, the P parity bit is replaced by a B bit which is set on the first sample of each audio block, and clear at all other times. This serves the same function as the B or Z synchronization preamble. The other half of the data byte contains three data protection bits for error control and a sequencing bit. The concatenation of the sequencing bits from all samples in a cell combined little endian form a sequencing word of 8, 12, 16, or 24 bits. Only the first 12 bits are defined. The first four bits of the sequencing word are a sequencing number, used to detect dropped cells. This increments by one for each cell transmitted. 
The second four bits are for error detection, with bit 7 being an even parity bit for the first byte. The third four bits, if present, are a second sequencing number which can be used to align multiple virtual circuits. See also Voice over ATM Audio over Ethernet References, <references>